All right, fifth grade, this is lesson eight. Um, we are also doing rounding decimals to place values, but they are going to be the given place values. So you need to read carefully to make sure you know exactly which place values you need to round to. If you would like to use the number lines, you may, but they are optional. You don't need them. I'm not going to use them um, because I like, I like the rounding method that I use a little bit better. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm looking at the first place. That's my tenths place. I'm going to underline my tenths place. And I am going to look next door. Is this number five or more? Yes, it is. So I know that I'm going to add one more to this value, making it 32 and 7 tenths. That's all I need. The rest of the numbers become zeros. You are more than welcome to write the zeros at the end. All I need is that tenths place. That's all I need. Now let's go to the hundredths place, which is right here. I'm going to look next door. Is this five or more? It sure is, which means I need to add one more to this nine. But that makes it 10, doesn't it? So when you, when you have a nine here and it becomes 10, you have to do the, the whole carrying over thing. So just like you were adding, like if you were adding and you get a number bigger than 10, you would write the ones place here and carry the one. Well, you're going to carry the one over to this place value, and this will become a zero. So my new number is going to be 32 and 1 plus 6, which is 7, and 9 becomes that zero. So it would be 32 and 7 hundredths, or sorry, not 7 hundredths, 70 hundredths, which is the same, as you can see, as 32.7. Those are equal. Now let's round to the nearest ones place. The ones is right here. I'm going to look next door. Is this five or more? Yes, it is. So I'm going to add one more to this too, making this 33. And remember, I don't need any of the decimals to the right. The rest of your homework is going to be very similar to this. So I hope this helps you out.